Hi everyone, thanks for dropping by our physical distancing jewellery workshop. And today I wanted to show you how to make just a really simple earring that makes an elegant statement. I'm using really beautiful vintage brass stampings, which are vintage, which I like since I'm a sustainable stylist. And I've teamed it with a metal cloisonne beige in a mauve. They're also available in white and red. And I'll show you step by step. Well, actually, there's probably only two steps to make these earrings. But still, for those who've, of you who've never actually started out on a jewelry making journey, this may be the beginning. So if you've got a few beads at home and you want to have a tinker, then please be inspired by my jewelry workshops. If you want to follow step by step and create these exact earrings, then you can go to my website and find the link shop DIY and then shop DIY video workshop kits and we will post them out to you whether you're in Australia or whether you live overseas. Um, so please follow us online, be inspired, pick up loads of jewelry design tips and technical prof professional finishes and um, stay calm, stay safe in these uncertain times and enjoy connecting in a creative way. Thanks so much. So I've been wearing the purple Cosne oriental fan earrings and now I'm going to show you how to make them using the white ones. These are instant grat earrings. It's two techniques. So if you've purchased a kit, I'll just get you to lay everything out. We've got a hook that will go through the ear, nickel and lead free. A beautiful cloisonne bead with lots of detail. Just gorgeous. A vintage fan made of brass and let me tell you I'm a big fan of these fans because they are vintage so all about sustainable style and brass is the most eco of all metals so it's a win-win and you also have a couple of eye pins that has a loop at one end to allow you to connect everything together so let's get started pick up the metal bead and thread it through. We're using round nose pliers to form a loop. We're going to attach from the front to So just repeating that, we're threading it onto the pin using our round nose pliers. Keep your work horizontal so you can see what you're doing. Grip it from the point of the wire and the point of the plier or rotate your wrist around. And attach from the front, which is the grooved area, to the back. So we now want to attach the ear part, so we need to open up the existing loop, so just bend it backwards, thread the hook on and close it.
and you've just made an amazing pair of earrings if you haven't made earrings before So you've just made yourself an amazing pair of earrings. Now if you purchase a kit from Etalage, we will provide you with a step-by-step -step instructional on how to link beads. In addition to that, we will also supply you with a bookmark, which on the back has this very handy ruler and a booklet of beads and instructions because we want you to know where our beads are from and how they are made because sustainable style is really important to us if you don't have one of our kits that's fine thanks for checking in and hopefully you found lots of inspiration from this very short instant grat um, workshop today 